Welcome to TechFlick. Today, I want to do a new series called Online Shopping Guide. I've been planning on doing so for quite some time. And with the recent news on human malware, I feel that buying items online is the way to go. So today, I'm finally starting the series. Let's roll the intro, shall we? Firstly, all the prices for the PC components in this guide will be in Singapore dollars. For this PC build, I'm targeting around 850 to 900 plus dollars, which is equivalent to around 600 US dollars. Secondly, all the prices shown are as of making of this video. The prices may vary. You may end up paying more or less the amount. Thirdly, I will summarize the exact PC components for the 850 and $900 built towards the end of this video. And finally, this online shopping guide will only cover two popular online stores in Singapore, mainly Shopee.sg and Amazon.sg. So far, in my opinion, these two stores have very competitive PC component prices. So with that out of the way, let's start the online shopping guide. First up in our list is the processor in Shopee SG. I will be going for the Ryzen 3100 or the Ryzen 3300X. They are around $30 in price difference. One is around $151, the other one is around $185. These two processors are the newest budget Ryzen 3000 series processors and they do pack a punch. Both are 4 cores and 8 thread processor. What's the difference? So the difference between them is that the Ryzen 3100 has its 4 cores spread across 2 core complex or CCX while the Ryzen 3300X has all 4 cores in a single CCX. Thus, the Ryzen Ryzen 3100 cores will need to communicate between the two CCX and of course there will be extra latency which will mean reduced performance. But both are great processors to start your PC gaming experience. Alright, now we move on to Amazon.sg. For the motherboard, we have the ASRock B450M Pro 4F or you can also choose the Gigabyte B450M DS3H. Both are usually around the same price. As you can see, both are 104.92, 104.92. Do note that both motherboard is a micro ATX motherboard. So they are a bit shorter than the usual ATX motherboard. Both comes in four RAM slots. So you do have upgrade options in the future if you would like to expand on the memory. They are both a monotone in color. So no weird bright colors. And I like that. So based on the comments down below, it seems that both motherboard should be Ryzen 3000 compatible out of the box. So you don't have to worry when pairing with the Ryzen 3100 or the Ryzen 3300X. Alright, a bit of a disclaimer here. With the new AMD B550 motherboard slated to release around 17 June, you might want to hold on to your cash. AMD did mention that the B450 motherboard will now support until the next gen Ryzen processor, Zen 3 architecture, but we are still unsure which motherboard will receive the updated BIOS. So if you are concerned with not having next gen support or you plan to upgrade your processor in the next two years, I suggest that you wait and I will be creating a new online shopping guide featuring the B550 motherboard in the near future. Now for the RAM, we are going with the team group T4 Dark Z Alpha. This is a 16 GB kit which comes in two 8 GB RAM sticks. So Ryzen loves speedy RAM and with the speed of 3200 MHz with CL16, this is a pretty decent speed and some say it's the sweet spot when it comes to gaming. This RAM stick is also especially made for AMD Ryzen and I've chosen the black RAMs. These come at 100 Singapore dollars. Now, for storage, we are going with only one SSD. In the future, we can choose to upgrade this build to include maybe one or two terabyte storage hard drive. But for now, this PNY CS900 240GB 2.5 inch SATA Rev3 SSD is fine. The reason I suggest to go with a SSD instead of a HDD is for faster boot times and load times in general. You may want to choose more storage like 480GB which is gonna cost around $30 more as compared with the 240GB. This is an all black SSD so it's gonna match with the all black theme for our build. Alright, 
Now going back to Shopee, for the main component in this gaming rig, we are going with the Palette GTX 1660 Super Gaming Pro OC. This comes at $331. This is a great card and if you want to achieve around 60 frames per second at 1080p with medium to high settings, this card will sure to deliver. I've used Palette graphic cards in the past and so far, no issue with them. This is an all black card, it comes in dual fans and also includes a backplate which is nice it comes with display port hdmi port and a vga port now to power all the components we are going with the fsp hyper k 500 watt power supply i have not personally used an fsp power supply before but i've heard of good things from fsp and also it's a reliable power supply that should deliver this is 80 plus white certified uh, it's not fully modular but look at this they have flat black cables at this price point $63.90 this is gonna make your build extra pretty to end all of it for the PC case we are gonna go with the Techware Nexus M this is a micro ATX form factor case and this should fit in our motherboard nicely and at this price point of $45 it comes with three fans 220 millimeter at the front and 120 millimeter at the rear and also a tempered glass side panel I'm really impressed and I'm looking forward to reviewing this case in the future so I've gone through all the PC components for this budget build we are not going to summarize it I will split it into two parts, the $850 build featuring the Ryzen 3100 and the $900 build featuring the Ryzen 3300X. All the components and the prices will be listed down here and also the grand total. I never make promises Cause I don't keep them I never make promises Cause I don't keep them Cause I don't keep them Alright guys, I hope you find this online shopping guide useful. I will put all the components and the link down below. Let me know if you find this useful or if you have any questions on the guide. As always, if you like what you see, click the like button. If you love what you see, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Do let me know if I should make more of this online shopping guide and also if I should buy them in the future and build them from scratch. Until then, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy. This is TechFlick, signing out.